This is the video review for Transformers Prime Cyberverse Commander Class Ironhide. And this figure, I really like the transformation, I love the truck mode, but the robot mode does leave some stuff to be desired. As you can see, it rolls quite nicely, and he has these nice little translucent cannons back here. Although they can be a little bit hard to put in because the places where they peg in can rotate a bit. And uh, unfortunately the back here is not hollow like a real truck would be, but you'll see why. Now transform this guy. First you'll pull the rear back, split it apart, and then rotate this out, which will reveal a foot. Do the same to the other side. And then what you will do is you will raise these up and then rotate these wheels in. This is just to get them out of the way, they won't end up there. Then you split the top of the car, pull it out like this while keeping the uh, top pegged together, and then you will rotate it around like this. If the top unpegs, sometimes some of the parts will fall down and it will block the rotation around it. Then you'll bring the arms around, which you see these bits right here, they'll lock the rotation bit there. And then you take these parts of the truck and rotate them forward, which will hide that hinge. And then take these, fold them forward, which kind of covers the hand. It's weird how they did that. And then you rotate the tires to the back of the arm like that. And this is Ironhide in robot mode. I like the way it looks, and I like the transformation. But the way the arms end up being, it kind of throws me off, because... You see the ball joint in there is at a bit of an angle, which screws with the ability for it to rotate around. And then the arms, well they have this that can rotate around and get in the way, but these don't rotate out as far as you think they will. So that's another strike on him, and he doesn't have essentially a bicep swivel, he has a swivel right here, essentially below the elbow. Now one of the reasons why that is, I think, is you can plug the cannon in here. They wanted to give him the ability to rotate the cannon forward like this, so he's like, boo boo boo, shooting like a null ray or something. And while that's interesting, I'd rather he have good arm posability, so at the very least, he would have a better way of getting the arms uh, rotated away from the body than this very limited, pointlessly limited hinge right here. So the arms kind of piss me off but the legs i uh, also this hinge right here can be kind of loose uh, these will hold them down a little bit but they're not that tight either so the arms while they piss me off i do like the legs they go forward back in out because they're ball jointed they get a little bit of rotation here just enough to really matter he's got 90 degrees at the knee he's got a toe that can bend up like this and down like this and the foot can go side to side. So his legs are really nice. You can get some really cool poses out of them. Although, it would have been nice if he had head articulation. So he's kind of a mixed bag for me. I like the car mode, the transformation, and the legs. But if the whole upper body, while it, he looks nice, it just is, it's not the best. So while he does have his problems, he is a nice figure. And you can combine his guns together to give him a... Uh, BFG. I won't say he's a bad figure. I do recommend him, but he's not as good as, it, as he should be. Now, as, par as far as part looseness, that can be fixed with super glue or future floors, so I'm not too miffed about that. But just the general design of the upper body could use some more work. So, yeah, this is Ironhide. He's okay. I review Transformers, Power Rangers figures, Marvel figures, Men in Black figures, a whole bunch of stuff. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe.